This is the same obstacle course as in exercise 5. However, you have to control the drone in first person view with only the camera's live stream on the tablet. In almost all inspections, you need to fly around many obstacles before arriving at the real inspection site. With this exercise, you learn the techniques to avoid obstacles. You need to ask yourself the following questions for the risk assessment. Is there anything that could enter the cage close to my objective? Can the drone get stuck somewhere? Is there something dangerous on the way to my objective? Can I encounter a connection loss? Will I find my way back? At which percentage of battery do I need to come back? To make a proper evaluation of those risks, you can rely on the blueprint of the facility, information given by an employee at the facility, and pictures of a previous inspection. For this exercise, you use the two joysticks, the EV lighting wheel and the camera tilt wheel. When you scroll down the EV wheel, the camera's exposure goes up, meaning that the camera accepts more light and shows a brighter image. When you scroll up the EV wheel, the camera shows a darker image. This exercise should be carried out with the pilot staying at the takeoff position. Place the drone on the ground in front of you, then hold it lightly between your feet. Perform the arming sequence. Once the drone is upright, orientate the camera in the same direction as your body. Now you can release it and take one step back. Control the drone only watching the live stream on the screen of the tablet. Fly the drone and pass through the 55 cm hole. Then pass between the obstacles, come out through the gate, fly the drone back to the takeoff spot then perform the disarming sequence. To pass the manhole in first person view, you need to keep the camera straight and aim for the middle of the hole. Another technique is that you aim at the upper part of the hole and lose altitude gradually about one meter before the hole without changing the horizontal speed. Once you have passed the manhole, you can gain altitude to avoid further turbulence. To pass between the cones, Use only the forward motion and the yaw. By doing so, you do not drift too much and you are able to see the obstacles and potential risks along the way. At the gate, you can tilt the camera to about 10 to 20 degrees down to see the best way through the gate. Once you pass the last obstacle, you can tilt the camera back to zero degrees with the first red button over the left joystick. This obstacle course in windy conditions simulates one of the main difficulties you encounter in real inspections. Wind and airflows destabilize your flights, making the inspection more difficult. Moreover, you often experience airflow when passing through a manhole or similar opening. In addition to the risks detailed in exercise eight, you need to consider the wind. Will there be any major wind or airflow that could push the drone into obstacles? In some areas, like boat ballast tanks, silos or stacks, try always to turn off the ventilation and limit the number of openings to avoid any airflow as much as possible. When you pass an airflow, the drone might be pushed away. To counterbalance the wind effect, you need to give some thrust against the wind source. However, you have to be careful. Once you have passed the airflow zone, you need to anticipate the change to avoid further collisions.